Hi guys, it's Rebecca. Thank you so much for joining me for today's video. Today's video is going to be my um, next update for my Panda palette for 2022. I am working on two palettes. One is a face palette, one is a small eyeshadow palette. And you're probably thinking, you know, you're posting an update already on your Panda palette. Didn't you just post that like a couple of weeks ago? And you are right. But if you remember, I had to pre-record a ton of videos before I went out of town at the beginning of March. So it's actually been, you know, quite a bit of time since I since I recorded a video. Uh, just because I post a video on a certain date, it doesn't mean that it was recorded, you know, a day or so before, especially when I'm going out of town and I have to pre-film a ton. So uh, it is about that time, even though you guys might have just seen an update not too long ago. Uh, and as you guys might know already, I am panning two palettes and I think I said that already. So I am going to start with this Urban Decay Shapeshifter um, Naked Skin Palette. And I'm very sad because it's already broken. Can you see the little plastic here broke? So I am afraid that the mirror here is going to break eventually because this little thing is already cracked. You can't see it on the outside, it's cracked on the inside. Uh, and I'm afraid that it's just gonna crack and then the mirror is gonna fall out and we're gonna have cream and, and powder products together and it's gonna be a mess, I'm afraid. So I'm going to start with this guy first. Let me show you guys where I was the last time. This is where I'm at right now. So yay, finally I was able to hit pan on this bronzer and I have quite a bit of can you guys see like the side pan here i am almost ready to clear um clean the product out um very very deep pan side pan here not so much on this side i think i'm focusing my brush one second toby's here on my lap um because i don't know if it's because he's a yorkie but he always wants to be on my lap like always Is, do you guys own a yorkie is that like a trait for these kinds of dogs <laughs> I'm so not used to having lap dogs. Um, even my parents' chihuahua, like she's very independent. She'll be with you with a little bit, but then she'll leave you alone. He will not leave me alone until I pick him up and have him on, have him on my lap. Maybe I'm just encouraging this behavior. Who knows? But anyway, going back to my palette. Um, yeah, I was able to hit pan on this guy. Very, very good, good sizable pan, I think. Um, I am using my e.l.f. complexion brush. Um, to use as my bronzer brush and I love it. I think it's a great color match for me I am glad that I decided to just focus on one bronzer instead of kind of dipping back and forth on these two shades and uh, Yeah, uh, that's the kind of progress that makes me motivated. So that's that and you guys might have seen that I had a Pan on this shade before however, if you follow me on Instagram, you would have seen that I had to repress it I did have pan, but I wanted to keep expanding the pan, but for some reason, I don't know if it's the product or, or the brush that I'm using, but whenever um, I would use my brush, the edges were crumbling. Like it wasn't wearing off evenly. I had like little pieces flaking off and I didn't want to waste it either. I could have just left it like that and kept on, you know, using the brush the way I was using it. And then I'd have a bigger pan by now, but you know, I don't want to really waste it. So I decided to repress it. You guys would have seen that repressing on Instagram. So if you don't follow me on Instagram, you can go ahead and, and check it out. So that's this one. Now let's go to the cream products. Let me show you guys where I was the last time. And this is what the cream side is looking like. Can you guys even see? There's so much shiny pan here. So obviously I was able to use up the last little bit that I had here in this kind of yellow toned um, or peachy toned corrector right here. I used it all up and then I was able to um, expand the pan on the peachy shade right here, not the peachy shade, the creamy shade and um, in hit pan. Actually, I didn't have any pan on this yellow shade, uh, but I have been mixing these two together and um, they've been creating kind of a peachy, oh! It happened, guys. It happened. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna have to be super duper careful with that. Um, I don't wanna break it. There's a cat around and now Toby's like obsessed. <laughs> anyway, so many difficulties with this video. Anyway, um, 
that's where I'm at with this video. I haven't used this guy at all. Somebody asked me in a video, can you make a video on how you're using these products? I'm using these products as they're designed. Um, bronzers as bronzers, highlighter as highlighter, correctors as correctors. I have not used this one, but I have mentioned before that I do want to use that one as a cream bronzer once I'm done with the other colors. So um, that's where I'm at right now with this palette. I'm super excited. And yeah, gotta be careful not to finish breaking that guy. Now let's move over to the eyeshadow palette. I am working on this Sephora Collection eyeshadow palette. It's a six pen palette. And um, it only had five when I started this project. But let me show you, show you guys where I was the last time. Now the lighting might be changed because I had to close, close the shutters because this packaging is really reflective. So this is where I'm at right now. It looks a little bit better than the last time, but as you guys can see, I have made a ton of progress. So obviously this dark brown shade, I used that up. That's the color that I was using for my brows. So currently I'm using a brow thing from Merit. Um, I was going to use a, another dark brown because I have a lot of dark brown shades, but I figured I would use something that I could use for my brows um, and not another eyeshadow, just for my own sanity. So anyway, that one's gone. Expanded the pan on this mid-tone matte brown. It's the color that I have on my crease. I have been using it on, on my crease um, ever since I started this project. And that's, that's, I don't know, there's not much to say about that other than that's the color I'm using. I have expanded the pan quite a bit. I really do wanna repress this shade as uh, that's why, another reason why I wanted to do this update. Um, this shade, as you guys can see, was gone from the intro. This um, kind of like champagne-y color right here. Uh, also, I have expanded the pan quite a bit. That's another shade that I want to repress. Um, very easy to use. Also, expanded the pan on this shade right here. This is kind of a taupey color. Um, I did expand the pan and I hit side pan on both sides. So I'm very, very happy about that one. This one, this coppery brown, I haven't used much but I feel like I did expand the pan, not only like this way towards the picture over here, but also from the, from the side pan right here. And I feel like the product itself here on this area right here is a little bit flatter. So um, that's where I'm at right now. I am not gonna lie to you guys, let me open the shades. I have been feeling a little uninspired and when I feel uninspired, I feel a little bit lazy. So I have been doing a lot of just like eyeliner and mascara and that's it for my eyes this is the most like effort i've put into my eyeshadow in the last couple of days uh, maybe the, a week or so and so i what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna do a repressing of this um eyeshadow palette if you guys remember when i was working on my ammo palette and my deluxe shadow box from both from urban decay um i did do some refrankening, added some color. I think that's what I'm missing. I'm missing color in my life and <laughs> just spice things up. And uh, so I'm going to be doing a repressing. I'm gonna film it uh, like I did those other videos so I can show you guys um, where I'm at. Uh, but I wanted to do an update so you guys could see how this palette looked like before I go ahead and repress it. So stay tuned for that video. But for now, that's all I have for my Panda palette. I hope you guys enjoyed this update. Thank you for watching and I'll see you on the next one.